Today we're going to go over how to solve equations that require two steps. Here's our first problem. 3x plus 4 equals 19. Well, in this equation, you're going to have to cancel both the 3 and the plus 4. You might wonder which one you have to cancel first. To figure this out, it helps to understand what 3x really means. 3x means that there are three x's in this equation, x plus x plus x. And so rather than worrying about splitting those x's up now, we're going to ignore them until later. When you're solving equations, you should always try and cancel addition or subtraction first. So here we're going to cancel the plus 4. We can do that by subtracting 4 from both sides. If you solve this out, plus 4 and minus 4 cancel out. You're left with just 3x. And on the other side, 19 minus 4 gives us what? Well, 19 minus 4 is 15. From there, all that's left to cancel is this 3. Well, we know that 3 is being multiplied by the x, so we can cancel it by dividing by 3. The 3 divided by 3 cancels out. You're left with just x. And on the other side of the equation, you have 15 divided by 3. What does that equal? Well, when you do 15 divided by 3, you get your answer of 5. Let's look at another problem. Let's look at 5 minus x equals 7. Well, before we do anything else, let's talk about what that minus x really means. Even though there's no number next to the x, it's showing us it's minus 1x. We can imagine an invisible 1 being in this equation. In the last problem, we went over that you should try and get rid of addition and subtraction first. So rather than worry about the minus 1x, let's focus on the 5. To cancel the 5, you can just subtract 5 from both sides. When you solve this out, 5 minus 5 cancels out, so you're left with just negative 1x. On the other side, you have 7 minus 5, which equals 7 minus 5 gives you 2. Now all that's left is canceling out the negative 1x. Well, to cancel that out, we can just divide by negative 1. That'll cancel out the negative 1s, leaving us with just x. On the other side of the equation, we have to take our 2 and divide by negative 1 as well. Well, 2 divided by negative 1 equals what? 2 divided by negative 1 will give you negative 2. Now let's do some of these together. Let's look at the equation 9x minus 5 equals 16. Well, in this equation, I'm going to have to cancel both the 9 and the minus 5. What should I cancel first? Well, remember that the 9x we're going to leave until later. Always start with the addition and subtraction. Let's cancel the minus 5 by adding 5 to both sides. When you solve this piece of the equation, what do you get? Well, the minus 5 and plus 5 cancel out you'll be left with just 9x. On the other side of the equation, 16 plus 5 will give you 21. Now all that's left is getting rid of this 9. How can I get rid of the 9? Well, the 9 is being multiplied by x, so to cancel it out, divide by 9. When that cancels out, you're left with just x. And on the other side of the equation, you now have 21 divided by 9. Now you might just think of writing your answer as the fraction 21 ninths, but there's a better way you can do that. Let's think about the fraction 21 ninths. You can simplify this fraction. To simplify a fraction, think about dividing both the top and the bottom by the same number. Think about what are some numbers you could divide both 21 and 9 by. Well, you could divide 21 and 9 by 3. And when you solve this out, you'll get that 21 divided by 3 equals 7, and on the bottom, that 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Now, because I divided by 3 on both the top and the bottom, all I did was simplify my answer. The best way to write your answer is that x is equal to 7 thirds. Let's look at another problem. Let's look at the equation x over 3 minus 6 equals negative 2. Well, in this equation, we have an x divided by 3 and a minus 6. Which piece should I cancel first? Well, remember to leave the x until the end. Focus on addition or subtraction first. We're going to get rid of the minus 6. We can do that by adding 6 to both sides. When you solve this piece out, what is your equation? 
Well, the minus 6 and plus 6 will cancel out. You'll be left with just x over 3. On the other side, minus 2 plus 6 gives you 4. Now all that's left is canceling out the division, the divided by 3. How can we do that? To cancel out division, you should multiply here by 3. The 3 over 3 will cancel out, leaving you with just x. And on the other side of the equation, 4 times 3 gives us what? You can solve that 4 times 3 gives you your answer of 12. Now it's time for you to try some of these problems on your own. Solve the equation negative 4 minus x equals 10. What does x equal? Well, in this equation, you needed to realize that the minus x was really a minus 1x. However, before messing with the x, you needed to get rid of the negative 4. You could do that by adding 4 to both sides. When you solve this out, the negative 4 plus 4 cancels out. So all that you have is a negative 1x. On the other side, 10 plus 4 gives you 14. Now all that is left is canceling out the negative 1. To cancel the negative 1, divide by negative 1. That'll leave you with just x. On the other side of the equation, take your 14 and also divide by negative 1. That'll give you your answer that x equals negative 14. Now here's your last problem for today. 3x plus 8 equals 2. What does x equal? Well, remember to start with addition and subtraction. Start by canceling out the plus 8. You can do that by subtracting 8 from both sides. Once you solve this piece of the equation, the plus 8 and minus 8 cancel out. You're left with just 3x. On the other side of the equation, the 2 minus 8 gives you negative 6. Now you just have to cancel the 3. Well, that 3 is being multiplied by x, so to cancel it out, divide by 3. That'll leave you with just x. On the other side, you take your negative 6 and divide by 3. Negative 6 divided by 3 gives us our answer of negative 2. So from today, remember, when you're solving an equation with lots of pieces, cancel the addition or the subtraction first. Only after doing that should you multiply or divide to get the x all alone.